One of the most popular and oldest forms of entertainment is without a doubt drag. From RuPaul's Drag Race to drag brunches across the country, people love it. Well, some do. Several Republican-led states, including Florida, Kentucky, Idaho, North Dakota, Montana, and Oklahoma, are considering legislation that would ban drag shows in public. Despite all of these archaic laws being passed, more and more Republicans are themselves being outed for dressing in drag in the past. People such as Representative Nate Schatzline of Texas, who is seen in a video on Twitter dressed in drag, and Tennessee Governor Bill Lee, who is also pictured in drag. There's even the classic video of former mayor and leaky Trump goon Rudy Giuliani dressed in drag as he and the sentient booger that is Donald Trump walking through a department store. Trump even motorboats Rudy Giuliani in the video. A link to that video is in the show notes, and it's weird. Nate Schatzline and Bill Lee have both put forth anti-drag show legislation, and Trump has vowed to do worse if re-elected. Now, what does all of this have to do with the boy in our podcast logo? Well, I'll let Alana and I explain it to you tonight on I Do Not Trust This Person, The Many Lies of Congressperson George Santos. So when was the last time you were in Brazil? Like, uh, well, I guess, were you specifically, were you in Brazil in 2005? Do you remember? Yes, I was. For sure. Yeah. Yes. Are you, like, what's the party age down there? Like, I guess, like, is there, I mean, it's Brazil. It's supposed to be, like, fun and vibrant. And, like, yeah. I guess that's how we view it here. Uh, but. Yes. The American image of, of Brazil. Is, are, the American image of Brazil is carnival and kind of Bolsonaro, or at least it was. Well, now, <laughs> yeah, not, not, now it is. <laughs> now well, no, it is. I mean. Now it's Lula again. Well, uh, nobody knows him. Yeah, no. It's not as fun, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it used to be, you know, beaches and carnival and thongs and that's yeah. all anyone knew Yeah, about that's Brazil. Right. Brazil equals thong, kind of, and butt implants. And these are like the biggest, like. Plastic surgery-wise, isn't that the case with Brazil? It's like at the most per capita second, second now? Second. No, th th I'm pretty sure. I heard, uh, I read this stat like years, years, years ago that Brazil was the, is the second highest like rate of plastic surgery yeah. after the United States. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. shit, man. Yeah. But party age, I think, God, now I'm getting like everything confused. You were I think eight, then 16, I think, or six, I think 16 or 17. Drink like officially in bars and stuff at 18. I think the only country that's 16 is like England, Germany. Germany? Oh, Germany Western is. Bar? Yeah. Uh, I, have mm, to I don't fact know. Check that. I don't know. But um lucky bastards. I mean, I can drink now. I don't it's not really lucky <laughs> uh anymore, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> um but uh, yeah, no, like bars are open late, a lot of dancing, yeah. like every... Is it like I, until no one can go anymore kind of a thing? Or do they do they close it up? Like New York, it's like still like four or yeah, something like, like that. Yeah, like four or five. Like oh, it's Jesus more like Christ. that. Right what I remember now living in Austin, uh -huh. you know, there are a lot of bars here where you go and you sit and you drink. And yeah. you... And there's nothing else, right? Yeah, you there's, just go hang out with friends at a dive bar and sit and right. like, there, chill. Which I feel like this, I prefer this, you've got places where you would go drink but they all have food sure, so yeah. it'd be like a little corner bar th kind of thing but it would have food as well yeah. so you could go hang out have some beers and then you would go to a bar or not really a bar but like a, a dance place if right. you wanted to go like party and have mm -hmm. drinks and dance so um yeah Good food. Yeah. Good drinks. Y'all have some of the best food I've ever eaten. Really uh, good street food. Really good, like, hand, you know, like, well, I don't know, like, appetizer-y yeah, hand yeah, food. Yeah. And then just, Ponte like, Keju. one thing that I mm. definitely remember that stands out is that in this specific area in Rio where we would go that had a lot of, like, dance places, there were street carts where you could get caipirinhas. Oh, yeah. Um, and they do caipirinhas there with all kinds of fruit. So it's not just like traditionally it's lime and 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 um, cachaça. Which is, is like the uh, liquor. sugar cane rum? Sugar cane, yeah. yeah. But on the street, they would usually do it with vodka. I would, I think but maybe yeah, it's because it's, cheap. it's cheaper. Yeah, yeah. 
And then That's you can what do most any- liquor is like cheap liquor is just vodka with like like the, the cheap whiskey is just vodka with like brown sugar oh in God, it or something like horrible. that. Yeah, it's horrible. Um, <laughs> but you, then you could choose whatever fruit you wanted. So like if you wanted a pineapple, yeah, and yeah. they would call it a kaipi vodka. Kaipi vodka. Cool. Um, and so you yeah. could get pineapple, mm. strawberry, whatever fruit you wanted, then just blend it. It'd be frozen, and yeah. then you just get it off the street and go. It's like a, it's a, it, picture it, audience. Is the best snow cone you'll ever eat in your life, and just. On another level, it's so good. I miss eating. I mean, we can make them now, but we should we make them now. We never frozen ones. <laughs> we should with the fruit we have. Let's go I do that after this. I think that's funny that you compare it to a snow cone. It's, I mean, yeah, right? It's it's a, it's a very, uh, do, do they not make them icy there? I thought that was like uh, Well, weird. just like a frozen margarita would be here. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Mm. It sounds so good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hate snow cones, so yeah. I don't agree with that. Um, comparison. Well, fine. Oh, uh, yeah. She's, uh, she's well, you, you know, you're not from here, and that's that's understandable. And understand maybe Americans it. shouldn't like snow cones either because it is literally just sugar, water, and ice. I wonder if that's so, just an American thing. I don't think anybody else, like, I mean, I know Italy has frozen, uh, frozen ice. They have the kind of the equivalent to the snow cone over there, but it's like better. Like shaved ice. Uh, yeah, shaved, I- I yeah shaved ice. I don't know. But, We're talking at her butts, but like, I don't like them. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, man, you just haven't had a good, you haven't had a snow cone with cream in it. I strongly suggest cherry oh, and cream. Oh, you did mention mm, that. It is yeah, a whole Yeah, that does sound thing. like it might be more It's up, real up good. Yeah, no, normal snow cones are kind of whatever, but like, uh, they, there's a place over at Mount Pinnell for people who live in Austin that has, they do the cream with the, yeah. like, add your own flavors. Oh man, it's so good. Oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, yeah, 2005, I think was the last time that I was there and, oh, wow. um, I think so. Never went to know. carnival, nothing like no, that, right? No, no, because carnival's in like, kind of like the same time that we have Mardi Gras Mardi here, Gras, kind yeah, of. Right? And so I was yeah. always in school, like, you know, uh-huh. high school, sure. junior high, blah, blah, blah. I was always in school, so we never went up there. We would go for Christmas, New Year's. New Year's in Rio oh, is yeah. an experience unlike any other. Everybody wears white, um, hangs out on the beach. It is magical. But no, I remember always like seeing carnival on TV, mm-hmm. but I would never, um, I, I was never there. Yeah. Oh man, like, did you ever go any drag shows for you there? You ever been to a drag show before? Went to one when I was uh, a lot younger. Uh, they have um, drag bingo here, which we should definitely go to. Um, but they. I don't think I've ever been to, maybe in Austin, like at some point when I was younger out uh-huh. on Sixth Street or on yeah. like during South by maybe, mm-hmm. but not that I can recall and not yeah. in, not that I can recall in Brazil either, although now I'm starting to get a hazy memory of being at a Oh my God, seriously. Dance club or something. <laughs> yeah. Were they were they co- people maybe competing for Miss Gay Rio de Janeiro by chance? Because <laughs> that would be serendipitous to say the least. <laughs> no, not that I can recall. <laughs> although we know that my memory is not one to Yeah. That man, you know what? We're gonna go with that. You were there when this was all happening. <laughs> okay, um, that let that be the headline. <laughs> Alana was there. When George Santos was competing, Which, who, who we have already established is from Brazil, is from Brazil. He's the only Brazilian representation yes. in Congress. So, uh, you know, not to push the pressure on the Brazilian community, but we, we got it's got something's got to do better than that guy. <laughs> Man, <laughs> there's a lot of cool people out there. Brazilians are really rad people. He's just not one of them. Uh, but <laughs> he. Uh, in 2005, the last time you were there, yes. um, maybe at the same club, was competing for Miss Gay Rio de Janeiro, um, something he denied, um, like, uh, adamantly, because, you know, Republicans don't like anybody that's not a straight uh, man, basically. Yes. <laughs> or, this is true. You know, um, well, you know they're, they claim they're diverse. And, you know, to, to their credit, they are. There's a lot of, you know, um, Latinx folks that are in Congress that are Republicans, and that's a whole thing. Uh, Thing and for a different show, you can listen to America the Conversation. We'll talk, we talk about that kind of shit over there. So, um, but uh, he, however, denied, 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 and then uh, finally admitted to it. And I'll play a clip of him. Uh, oh, he did eventually. <laughs> he admit did eventually to it? admit to it. But um, initially, he was um, what was his name? He was going by um, Katrina. Where is it? Uh, Kat- 
Kitara Rivachi. Um, how would I say that in uh, a Portuguese? Yeah. Uh, is that did I say that sure. close enough? K- Kitara. <laughs> Kitara uh, Rivachi. Is there a and picture? Um, you yes. Oh, there you go. Oh, There's okay. that um, picture. I, I have a better uh, picture for you in a bit, but yeah, adamantly denied it. Um, and did he dis- win? Uh, no, no. Oh. Um, was called a terrible uh, drag queen oh. uh, by his peers. Um, Oh. And uh, was it um, uh, y- uh, Eula Richard is the person who um, basically confirmed that all of this was true, um, said that they were friends back in 2005 at um, uh, the first uh, gay pride parade in uh, Niter- Niteroi. Oh, my gosh. I'm Niteroi. so sorry. There you go. Um, uh, and it's the suburb of Rio. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, he uh, oh, he did three win. Three years later, he competed. Oh, okay. Uh, for so the drag be beauty pageant. Oh, and Rio. Okay, so that 2008. Okay, okay yeah. Um, and th- so they met in 2005. So you might have, uh, yeah, you might have maybe seen him uh, down oh, and there. And another uh, person also confirmed. So definitely yeah, yeah. like minimum Big, two yeah. people and confirmed. It's, two people, it's true. two competitors um, for the title, uh, the, the magnificent. Um, Sure, no, not even I'm sure. I know the magnificent title, Miss Gay Rio de Janeiro. Um, and said with zero sarcasm, mind you. I know I might have say, sound like that sometimes. Truly not. Uh, but he said, George, Ooh, that... This um, is a good quote. <laughs> that I am uh, uh, claims that I am a drag queen or performed as a drag queen are categorically, categorically false and I will not be distracted nor phased by this. And then, how long ago was that? This, was that during? This was, I think, during his wait, campaign. Scroll up. When yes. was this, um, when was this um, uh, article? article? The article uh, was young and was had from fun uh, at a festival. Uh, January Sue 19th. Me for so, but he life. had been. Oh, wow. This so was, I think, during his uh, either during his campaign or well, immediately after. He just after. got in. in uh, he the, had just been sworn in on sworn the sixth uh, of that of this, the, year. of this year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh my god, that's so crazy to think about. This has only been going on. We've only known about him. We are recording this episode that you're listening to in May. Um, we recorded all of these ahead of time uh, just because it's not really current. All of these lies have already been told. Uh, or I told, right? I guess so. Um, and yes, he, we've only known about him. Oh, and new ones out, will continue to come out. <laughs> like, right now we have 22 episodes basically planned, I think. And uh, there's going to be more for sure. Um, but we've only known about him since like November. Like no one, the Democrats, this was, I, we talked about this on uh, America the Conversation. Like I am baffled that the Democrats did not catch any of this. No oppo research person was just like, hey, the the first openly gay Republican is running in New York. Maybe we should like have eyes on that. Like, not a bit. No, they just, (laughs) they just didn't didn't do any oppo research on him. And then- a Democratic seat? Yes. Prior? He took a seat from an incumbent, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I won by quite a bit, I think. I don't remember what it, it was. Um, we'll mention that at a different time. Anyway, that's not the point not of this the point. show. The it's point just of this more, show is, is... Just his lies. And, well, and he denying, got... denying, denying, denying. Denying, denying, denying. And then they reached out to Eula Richard and uh, one other person who named, uh, remained nameless who confirmed it. And then we have this clip. So oh, yeah. he's, he's not denying it. <laughs> he's not denying it. I think um, he has since uh, confirmed it. I couldn't really find an actual verbal, yes, I competed as in drag in Brazil. But I'm like, the picture um, on CNN's website from that contains the clip that we just played, uh, that clip has a picture of him in drag. I mean, yeah. it let that or an exact clone of him. Like, it I, looks <laughs> just like him. There, that's, uh, not to mention the f- uh, fact that, like, the, uh, the uh, Yulu, I believe it was a Yulu, Richard, um, or one of the people that um, came forward on this knew him back then uh, as Anthony uh, DeVolder, not George. Right. Um, uh, it wasn't George, but uh, knew him to be also a, a, and keep in mind, George Santos is a Republican, uh, conservative Republican, a Lula supporter, the left wing socialist uh, who just won back his seat in the Brazilian government as president. Um, pretty cool dude. He's a dude. Lula supporter? He was a Lula supporter. Oh, back then. Until he moved to America and went all crazy uh, gotcha. or something uh, along those lines is what uh, one of the uh, sources said. And just said. to be clear, you know, if he was a drag queen, I don't care. No like, one cares. God bless, <laughs> No one on, the, you know? on our side cares. His side cares. That's the craziest part about all of this. It's and it's why he's denying it, obviously. and the denial. Like, like, embrace it, own it. 
But he can't. That's the problem with the GOP being like with every law, anti-drag law passing right now. Like it's 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 horrible, like especially what's happening in Tennessee. Um, All I mean, uh, all they're doing is radicalizing a bunch of youth to remove them from their jobs by doing this. But, uh, you know, that's a a different uh, subject entirely. But. At the end of the day, like he has to deny this if he wants at all to keep his job, which he never again, I can't find anywhere where he said denies d- d- or or confirms. But like I had fun in a well, festival. Well, he did deny and, like, it in the Twitter, in the tweet. And then it, yeah. it, he in the in the video clip that we played, he says, <laughs> I had fun at a festival. <laughs> Sue me for having fun. So, like, uh, yeah, well, I mean, wh- why deny it, man? Like, d- <laughs> Come over to our side. <laughs> well, I mean, this don't. Is, You're a lying piece of crap. This so is <laughs> one of those lies. Like, I feel like the last two lies were so ridiculous and, yeah. and absolutely yeah. insane. This lie is more like sad. Sad. Yeah. This is a sad if, lie. Yeah. If, if, if you this can't is, be yourself, right? Man. Like, like, if this is his true self and he was having fun and, you know, if he, but, but he feels like he can't embrace it because of this insane yeah. world of lies that he's now like set up for himself. I don't know. This one's like, and this the, one's sad. the, is, you know, co workers like hating his very existence of being gay or even if he wanted to have a career in drag or if he just wanted to be in drag. At all. Rudy Giuliani, there's a great video of him and Trump uh, in drag uh, from a very long time ago. But all of a sudden, the the right seems to care about another boogeyman because they are losing their silly, stupid little culture war instead of actually doing anything. Well, Rudy Giuliani and Trump in drag seems It was just Rudy. It wasn't Trump. They were at like Saks Fifth Avenue or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, but I mean... Uh, drag's just been it's been a thing for so long and they're just all of a sudden caring about it like we're indoctrinating kids by having drag queens read library books to kids like get over it like you all these people do is just create one boogeyman after another like it was it's the new left-handedness basically like being left-handed back in the 50s you were a demon they were they thought you were possessed by the devil like being gay was one like you know now being trans or just and even just being a drag queen or just being different is their whole it's just it it's gross and it's sad and it's sad that this guy who yeah liar a con man and a grifter whatever you want to call him I don't care who you are. I think you can't be yourself. Like, I mean, I, I don't know why. I, I I do not understand why. Uh, I, I, being a fiscal conservative is one thing, but why any, you know, member of the LGBTQ plus community goes towards that party. <laughs> like, it, it's truly baffling. I mean, I know, I guess he's the first openly gay member of uh, the Republican Party. I think it's no way. I, I believe so. 2023. Are you serious? Yeah, he's the first openly gay Republican elected to Congress. Like, I mean, dude, they they, they say who they are all broken. the time, man. This doesn't surprise me. I, like, I'm surprised that I honestly, I've often thought maybe he isn't. Like, maybe this is like a gimmick that he's running. Like, I you, you can't trust anything the guy says. Like, you no, know, that man's gay. You no, know, I he is. I, I, no, I know he is. He has uh, hu- allegedly has a husband, which we're going to get into his marriages the next episode. Um, jizz marriages plural, and I'm you very con- married. I did say jizz. Um, well, uh, <laughs> you know, it's you know, it's 2023. You can say that now. Say whatever you want. <laughs> that's, well, we're not. You know, we're not uh, getting getting trouble with the FCC. So uh, that's that's radio. I don't know. <laughs> Little is it too inside baseball? Something that Alana doesn't even know, understand. I don't that even phrase. understand that. Most reference. people don't even. Uh, it's just an industry phrase of knowing, making jokes about something that no one understands because it's it's like work humor. It's like if you made a joke about your job that only people at your job would get. Oh, it's like yeah. when you go out uh, to happy hour with a bunch <laughs> like, of people from your work and then one person who's not from your work joins. Yeah. And you spend the entire time complaining about work and that one like, person is like, exactly. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, sorry for that, everyone. No, But next week, marriages, ma- uh, marriage, um, which is... <laughs> It, I hold that um, when people use that quote. I love, 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 love Princess Bride. But when people say that quote, it is akin to me to um, my wife from Borat. And I oh, cannot, yeah, yeah, yeah. just cannot do it. Um, the newest Borat, fantastic. Cannot recommend it enough. But that's it. Um, next week, George Santos's Mawages. Yeah.
You've been listening to I Do Not Trust This Person, Season 1, The Many Lies of New York Representative George Santos. The show is hosted and produced by Alana Matos and Tim Phillippe. The show is mixed and edited at Shway Media Studios in Austin, Texas. For a full list of news sources and music used in this episode, please refer to the show notes. I Do Not Trust This Person was created by Tim Phillippe and is a production of Shway Media and America The Podcast Presents. For more information, please visit shwaymedia.com. Copyright 2023, all rights reserved. This has been a production of Shway Media, all rights reserved. For more information, please visit shwaymedia.com.